here the holidays if i don't know when you're watching this but i appreciate you coming on i want to show you a way to sit and draw out a gnome and um we're going to make him christmas but you can make him anything else so lots of times we start with the nose okay so i've got a number two lead pencil these are uh, dollar tree whole pack of them and they have that great, great white eraser okay so then i'm going to come around and put some fur or a band around where his nose is right so from there it's pretty easy to get his beard okay so as we're doing the beard i like to make like curls sometimes the beard doesn't even show but i like to do that then i'm going to come up here and back down and then let's make his hat come down here and have a big pom-pom on it okay and so we are going to have his hands are going to be kind of in here but you might not see them right so i'm going to show you that we can do some cute little legs here and we can put some little shoes that would be just like that okay and so i have put some little fur down here sometimes but i'm going to come across here and then we'll put a wreath on here okay so this is kind of where the arms would be all right so i have some paint because i've been doing some ornaments and painting this is all multi-surface paint so i picked out some reds and greens and white a little bit of licorice so let's start base coating in here i am going to get a couple smaller brushes and um mostly 10 a 10 or 12 and this is a 10 and a 6 but a 10 and 12 can get the base coating so i'm going to come in here and we're going to take and base coat all this area which would be apple red and it doesn't matter if you're perfect down here because the shoes are going to be black and so they can go on there pretty easy all right we're going to come right in here and see you can see through some too so that means the white can come or his beard can come out there a little bit more okay so we're gonna just basically cut apple red it's gonna be nice and bright right and i'm also gonna have his hat so we're gonna put in lots of paint we're not gonna touch his fur okay gnomes are fun you can turn it into a santa claus pretty darn easy by just showing some cheeks um, and all on here with a mustache so the cheeks means we'd have some flesh color and so right now we only have his nose but so many of us love gnomes that it's fun okay so i'm going to come right along here and we're going to have a white or tanned um pom-pom i'm going to take off the my red and get a little this is asphaltin or you can use coffee latte and oh i want the smaller breaths to do this and i do put this nose on last so that it is right in here so that after the mustache and uh and the fur and trim after that goes on and when you would come in there and add that all right so here's some licorice we're going to come right along here to get his little boots okay now you can have i saw some gnomes the other day that were really cute that they were on they had dripping icicles under them which was kind of cute all right 
Now, what I want to do, I usually do is I put some little gray in here. So we can get medium gray and we are going to, here we go. I put a medium gray all in here because then when I do the beard, it shows up really cool. All right, so we're going to come around here. I'm letting the red dry a little bit first, but we're going to put some shading in there. Now, the medium gray only makes it where the, the, the beard shows because it's got the dark in the background. And if you put white on a white background, it's not going to show too good. All right, so I can come right around there. All right, now in his arms, his arms are coming around because he's holding a wreath here. So I can put his arms right in here a little bit. And then these arms are a little bit more in there. There you go. All right, so we can shade with berry wine or some other color. But what I'm going to do is pick up floating medium with this 10 flat. And I'm just going to work it in. So that I'm just side loading that licorice. All right. So I'm going to come right along here and, and get a little bit more licorice. It's okay. See, the red's still wet. So many people say, oh, I've got to let everything dry. But we do wet on wet, no problem. We're medium, just a little side load of licorice. All right. And then I'm going to come in here. And let's get a little bit more licorice in here. And then I'm going to kind of shade in here. Like it's curved a little bit. You see that? And that's just taking a little bit of medium and touching. Touching a little touch of licorice. All right. And I can even have a little fold in here. All right, and then down here, we've had some striping going on. Right, I'm I'm just taking and going on the chisel. All right, and then a little bit more medium on the chisel. And look, we're going to come right up. A little bit more licorice. Now, so what's important that you learn here is the floating part and how to shade after yeah i can come right up over that gray okay so now i'm going to come in here one thing that people always ask is how to make these boots look like boots i'm going to take and put a little white layer on the top all right now I, before we put the pom poms and stuff on here, I want to get my rake brush. There's my rake brush in here. All right. So we have the ones with the green handles and we have the signature set. All right. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of water and just keep picking up. This, this brush has little thin bristles at the tip. It's called a rake brush. Okay. So I'm going to come right under here, knowing I'm going to redo my nose. Okay, all under here. Now I start down here at the end. So I'm going to come along here. I'm on my chisel. And I'm going to fluff it up a little bit. You know, watch what happens. I'm going to come around, around. And then see, I get up on the chisel and then I go back to flat. Okay, white. And now we're going to layer these. So I like to come out here. See how I get some ruffle on the edges? All right, wipe off. I got some red on there. Now, this is the important thing. See, I'm going to the edge of the white puddle 
I'm not going to go in the middle of that pain. Okay, so now if I go back here, and I'm gonna do the mustache again. So what I do is a teeny bit of gray, and we get a teeny bit of gray on this side. And then I can put a little bit more white in the middle. So if I side load some white and I come around, there you go. So can you see that little mustache? All right, now. A little curl at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of gray and white Let's get a teeny bit of licorice and go all the way around. Okay. And the same thing happens here. I'm going to go slip, slap, slip, slap. And then I can come back with some white. Okay. Slip, slap. Don't worry about the nose. Remember, we come back and fix him. Okay. So this kind of like fur on here. Well, I'm gonna wipe this now and just get white and just fluff some white here. Okay, a little bit of white on here. This kind of fun. A little bit. All right. Now, let's fix the nose for a minute, and then we're going to put a wreath in his hand. So I'm going back here to this asphalt and white. All right, and I'm going to put it right in here. A big old nose. <laughs> and as you can see, I have a little bit where I'm going to put a little bit of white glare on his nose. A little white glare on his nose. Now, there's lots we can do. A couple of things is we're going to come down here and get some ground. All right, and have him standing here. All right. Let me show you really quick. All right. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to come in here with a small scruffy, all right? And we got to have dark to see light. So I'm going to start with sap green. And this is his hand right here. All right. So we're going to come all the way over here. I'm going to cover up that cute little beard there. Okay, so he's got a wreath in his hand. We're gonna now take citrus and tap citrus around. Okay, so you don't even have to do greenery. You can just do a fun wreath. Okay. All right, now he will look good like he's holding that. You can even take black mittens or gloves and put those all right so it would be a thumb and then the glove okay so same thing here the thumb and then the glove okay so he's holding it and i'm going to take a two script liner and there's a couple things that you can do, you can come right here and curl that a little bit more on his beard. All 
All right, just a little bit, making him cute. All right, so he's got a pom-pom there. Um, and I just want him to be real simple. So I want you to think that we can do dots by using the handle, the two, one script liner. And you're gonna go all around and just really dot. These are really cute if you just trace out the pattern for your grandchildren, even teenagers love that they can draw these and how simple. All right, so I want a variety of looks where whether you do stripes, these could have been white stripes up here if you didn't have stripes on the on his legs. Okay. Kind of looks like he's got his pajamas on and he's sneaking out to put this tree outside, this wreath outside. So I'm just gonna come in here and put some berries. Even while it's wet, you can come right in here and do it. And I'll put a dot on both of his gloves. Okay. There you go. Now, isn't he kind of fun? And he's simple. I think that what we ought to do is we ought to put some snow down here instead of the brown. All right. So to get some snow in there, say it's snowing outside. All right. So we can come right in here. Up here. That looks like it's better. Okay, so now what we do with that is I can put just a little bit of blue. A little bit of that teal gives a, you a look of snow. Or you could do gray. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that. He's just a fun little guy. Lots to share with you. And I'll see you next week. So practice your drawing and have a good time with the holidays. Please come um, and check out everything on onestroke.com. And come make sure you subscribe and maybe even become a member of our membership where we're painting full length paintings one a week for $9.99. So check it out.